We are following a local breaking news alert right now out of St. John's County. A man now in custody after a SWAT situation in St. Augustine. Man was barricaded inside a home on Palisero Road along with several adults and children. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding just arrived on the scene. So this started with some sort of a physical altercation a few hours ago. Yes, Bruce, St. John's County Sheriff's Office says they got that call between 6 and 6.30. It started between two men who apparently are related in some way, and they were fighting. I want to go ahead and just turn the camera and show you that now that that man is in St. John's County Sheriff's Office custody, the scene is starting to wrap up. Cars are starting to be able to move their way out, and you can see members of the St. John's County Sheriff's Office starting to leave that scene as well. So we expect this to wrap up very, very quickly. But yes, it began with two people fighting. One of them ended up leaving that home and called the sheriff's office. Now that man apparently told the sheriff's office that he heard gunshots and he also told them, according to Chuck Mulligan, he said that that man made an allegation that the other guy came into his bedroom and then they got into a fight. Now several other adults and children were inside the house. I'm told they made their way out safely as did this suspect as well. And you know what? Hey David, we've got Chuck Mulligan right here. If you don't mind if we could just turn this right right back over. I just want to go ahead and ask you a question while I got you sure. right next to me. That man, what kind of charges is he facing at this point? Well, potentially it's aggravated assault charges for the physical confrontation. Again, we'll validate and verify uh, if there was any firearm uh, activity involved in this. We do have the allegations of that, uh, and we have to determine through interviews exactly what was the intent and do some other uh, minutia, if you will, in order to uh, move that forward. Uh, so there may be additional charges, but right now my assumption would be investigators are probably looking at an aggravated assault charge. And the most important thing is everybody is safe at this point, including the neighbors. Absolutely. The, be the best thing about this morning is, is that this was all resolved peacefully on, on all sides and we have no significant injuries. Uh, and so it's, uh, it's wrapping up now. Uh, of course, the investigation will still be ongoing, but the tactical side, the side that created uh, inconvenience to all the neighborhood folks here is, is, is uh, ending. And so uh, everything will be returning to normal here very soon. Very good. Definitely a happy thing to report. Thank you so much, Thank Chuck. You. Good to see you, Thank sir. You. And uh, you heard Chuck Mulligan right there. Let's just go ahead and show once again. You can see those guys walking back. Once we get past this, this truck gets past us. You can see those guys walking out. So definitely another job well done by the sheriff's office. Of course, we'll keep you posted. Back to you all in the studio.